Saturday morning, an icebreaker is towed onto Portobello Beach. Icebreaker's a Sintail skiff, a boat based on an inshore fishing vessel used in the Northern Isles. Boats like this were once common around the coast, but had almost died out in the mid-20th century. Thanks to the coastal rowing project, they're making a comeback, though mainly for leisure. Icebreakers owned by Row Porty, the rowing part of Portobello Sailing Club. In this nondescript workshop, they're hard at work building a second skiff and preparing to restore or renovate a series of other craft, all of which were once common sights on the promenade. I mean, I suppose I've always been aware of old postcards with pictures of Portobello and involving rowing boats, but until this project came along, I really had no reason to take an interest in that. And rowing was a very, very big part of, of the coastal community here in Portobello. And as a result of that, um, people were able to, to come forward that had memorabilia, old photographs, and bit by bit we've managed to um, pick up some of the original oars. And this boat to the left of me is an original sculling boat from Portobello. And we've also um, recently acquired a 100-year-old jolly boat, which was the style of boat that would have been used in the 1850s, 1900s. None of us had ever had anything to do with building boats before, so we worked it out as we went along. And in the main, it's made very simple by the you know the nature of the kit. Uh, you get most of the components partially shaped. You get the planks come shaped because for all a clinker-built boat looks like it's a series of straight planks, they are actually wider in the middle and narrower at the ends. All that's done for you. Then you have to. Um, shape each component to fit over the previous one. So there's a lot of shaping compound curves and because it's all curves you can't use any aids, straight edges or you know set squares or anything so primarily you have to do it by eye. You have to look at it and clamp the, the next plank on, squint along it. If it looks good then it probably is good. The Scottish Fisheries Museum launched the Coastal Rowing Project uh, about two years ago almost. They came to Portobello one day to talk to us and said, look, this is the deal, here's the, the shape of the boat, the design, the cost, the approximate cost, and how we could build it. And Ali Grant and myself were at the meeting, we looked at it, we heard it, and we thought, what a great idea. I gave Nick a call, who was in France. Uh, doing some work and I said, Nick, fancy building a boat? And he said, I've always wanted to build a boat. And then we, we, got, the, we got the kit. We went and picked it up on a trailer and bought the bits of wood that we needed for the larch, for the stems and the, and the hog and the keel. And Nick and I then spent every other day in here actually, because it was such an innovative new thing. Actually two months and ten days, we built Icebreaker. Anyone could build a boat, I think. The more I've been researching boat building, um, you know, people with virtually no previous experience of working with wood can build a plywood kit boat. Um, if you have a bit of a background, uh, you've got a good start because you've got the tools. I think you would need somebody who has got some pretty you know, reasonable joinery skills. The first one is one of the best things I've ever done. I mean, I've built all sorts of things over the years and restored things and, uh, you know, from houses and cars, buses. Um, building a boat was just fascinating. And at the end, you've got a boat to play with. People from the past to get to, together with, with people who've lived here uh, more recently, and it's, it's really brought a community back together. We've got the knowledge that existed in Portobello previously from the original group of people that rode, and that's now feeding into a brand new project. We've got... I've no idea how many teams of different teams now. Um, you know, it's introduced me to, I mean, hundreds of people uh, in Portobello and, I mean, hundreds more around Scotland. Um, you know, quite a lot of the teams turn up at the rowing events, 50, 60 people strong. Um, you don't get to know them all, you know, but, uh, you know, you meet. I mean, I've met vast numbers of people I'd never have met any other way. In the past few days, the club's taken possession of two 90-year-old jolly boats donated by Brotty Ferry Rowing Club. 
After 20 years in storage, they're still in very good condition, good enough to take out on the water. They'll all be on show on Sunday when the new skiff is formally named and launched.